In this video, we will talk about a unique and very powerful toolkit of tools that the Vega program has. Tools for creating dynamic slices for point clouds and working with them. There are several ways to create dynamic slices. Each of them is designed for certain tasks of working with point cloud. In this video, we will look at the first one, which is called Create Dynamic Point Cloud Slices by Plan. Links to other videos with the rest of the commands in this toolkit can be found below this video. And so, Create Dynamic Point Cloud Slices by Plan. Now we are going to create dynamic point cloud slices that will look like a layered cake. There are two parameters in this command the distance between slices and the width of the slice. If we consider the analogy of a layered cake, the first parameter is the thickness of the dough plus the thickness of the jam, and the second parameter is only the thickness of the jam. We set the distance between the slices. Let's set the value of the first parameter to 0 too. Even though there are only two parameters here, this command provides a very large range of unique possibilities for working with point clouds. Let's set the thickness of the slice to 0 5. We can make slices on the X, Y, or Z of world coordinate system, or on the X, Y, or Z of the current view. This makes it possible to make slices in any direction. Now I'm going to use the Z of world coordinate system. We select point cloud. Vega shows me a side view so that the slices will be created from top to bottom. This is the side view of my point cloud. Notice what I am about to do. I am selecting a rectangle, inside of which Vega will make slices according to the given parameters. As a result, we will get dynamic slices that we will work with in the future. To work with dynamic slices, there is a command, browse point cloud. Depending on what type of dynamic slice we have created, the operation of the browse point cloud command will be slightly different, but the principle will be the same. I run the command. By default, I am offered the value next. This way we can get to the ground or we can get to the crown of the trees. Let's take a look at the features that the browse point cloud command gives us. We will talk about type of browsing a little bit later. Preview. Next. First positions the view on the first slice. Last on the last. Note that when I was on last, everything disappeared. The point is that when I selected the rectangle, I made it so that there was nothing left of the point cloud on the last slice. If this happens and you hit escape and quit the command, it's not a big deal. Just select the command, turn on all dynamic point cloud slices, and it returns us to the previous state. Let's go back to the browser and look at one more feature. The browser remembers the last slice I was on. Let's position on first. I want to be at height 45. Select the by Z function and enter 45. Notice that the browser found the closest slice to height 45. We've positioned ourselves on that slice. We'll talk about the type of browsing function in another example. But now I want to show you how to work with combined dynamic slices. What this means. Let's go back to the state where we see the entire point cloud and set the view to the top. I want to make everything appear at ground level, except for this house and this tree. We change the transparency to make it easier to see and draw polylines around the house and the tree. Let's go back to the transparency value. We execute the command crop point cloud by polylines. You can see how this command works in the video about creating crops in Vega. I choose the type external and internal crop. And as a result, we have three point clouds, a point cloud for the whole area, a point cloud for the tree, and a point cloud for the building. Let's run the command, create slices by plan again. To make it work a little bit faster, we will set the number to 03 instead of 02. 
Note that I have selected three point clouds at the same time. This is very important so that the slices are on the same level. I select the rectangle where the slices will be made. Notice that Vega makes the slices for one point cloud first. Then it makes the slices for the second point cloud. Then Vega will do them for the third point cloud. And all of them will be on the same levels. Let's run the browse command and select only one point cloud. Notice what happens. Everything around except the building and the tree will be lowered. We can get almost to the ground. Drawing maps, drawing curbs, inserting symbols will not be described in this video. These topics will be covered in other videos. Now we're going to change the state of the dynamic building slices. We start the dynamic browser and lower the building. I can lower several point clouds at the same time. Let's go back and we'll lower the tree and the building at the same time and everything around it will stay in place. Let's see how this works. This is a simple, but very powerful tool that provides a lot of different possibilities for using Point Cloud in AutoCAD. Let's take a look at another feature of this tool. We're going to look at it in another example. We're going to do a floor plan of a building. Let's take a look at this office. Let's run the command and set the slice spacing to 0, 1 and the slice thickness to 0, 0, 1. Create a layered cake. If we now look at our office from the side, we can, using a browser, gradually cut from the roof slice by slice to open up the building. Now it's time to talk about the type of browsing feature. The default setting is from last to current slice. That means I go from the top to the bottom. If I set it to from first to current slice, then we go from bottom to top. Accordingly, we can look into the building from the bottom. Now we will talk about the value, current slice only. This option allows us to see only one slice. The jam thickness that we talked about. Let's look at our building from above. To make it easier to see, let's change the object color to see the building more clearly. Look how the browse point cloud works now. We find the slice we need, and we can start drawing the plan of the building. We will use the polyline by point cloud command to draw it. This command provides a very wide range of possibilities to draw by point cloud, and there is a separate video dedicated to its use. Now I will just show you how we draw the contour of the building. Note that I can't draw in free space only using point cloud points. Let's quickly draw the contour. If we look from the side, we can see that at the level of the slice we have chosen, we have drawn the contour of the building. Of course, you can draw it at different levels. You can draw it on the floor. You can draw it on the ceiling. There is a separate video dedicated to it.